what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so i'm just going to get on right into it uh you guys have seen from the title of the video i am going to be detailing how exactly trisha jenner would have ended up dying originally in the original jeepers creepers cathedral film that we never got so unfortunately uh the character of trisha jenner she would not have made it out of the original third film that we would have gotten as we all know trisha did end up coming back in the third film that we did get she was always set to return for cathedral so i'm at least glad that they they made that consistent even though jeepers creepers 3 the one we actually got was a complete transition from what we were promised and waited for so long to get I'm at least glad that they brought Gina Phillips back and let her reprise that role in a brief cameo at the end of the third film uh, to kind of bridge away into the fourth film. Uh, but in the Cathedral script, as we all know, Jeepers Creepers, which was originally supposed to be a trilogy, the third film was going to be uh, Jeepers Creepers 3 Cathedral. At one point, it was also titled Jeepers Creepers, The, C the Creeper Walks Among Us. It was going to bring back Gina Phyllis to reprise her role as Trisha Jenner. She was going to be a rich and powerful woman now at this point with a son named after the brother who she lost all those years ago. And now she's basically been planning and scheming uh and collaborating with other other people who have come in contact with this thing to try to put an end to it once and for all she was going to team up with the taggarts ray wise's character was supposed to come back ray wise himself was supposed to reprise that character uh giselle was supposed to come back i'm not too sure if the same woman was going to play her but giselle for those of you who have read the script you know giselle was also returning in cathedral sergeant tubbs was back so i'm sure brandon smith would have also been brought back he ultimately did come back in jeepers creepers 3 so again it's just these little things that the third film that we actually did get some certain characters that were always going to be in the cathedral script i'm glad they at least came back in some way uh but getting back on to the topic of the video originally in the cathedral script those of you who have uh recently been refreshed up on that script because i've been sending it out to a lot of my subscribers still if i have not gotten around to you please just keep reminding me leave your emails down in the comment section below and i'll try to do my best to look at all of these emails and send the script out but in the script at some point there is like a it's like it's it's during the midst of the center of the script or towards the end rather right when like all the action is going on and the creeper is under attack from from all different angles there's like a missile missiles and rocket launchers and every there's like a it's like a a SWAT team of sorts is after this thing at this point at this point in the script it's not it's not a SWAT team exactly it's just like a group of mercenaries just mercenaries that are armed and ready to take this thing down uh Trisha is hell-bent on protecting her son and what ends up happening is Derry is caught in the crossfires of this and in the midst of trying to protect her son she ends up getting caught in contact with a missile that is launched in the direction of Derry but at the last second she pushes Derry out the way because what ends up happening is Derry is about to be taken by the creeper the creeper is swooping down to uh, pick Derry up and take him uh, Trisha ends up coming in contact with Derry just at the last second pushes him out the way this makes the creeper mad uh, there's a scream that you can hear from the creeper this is something that's th that the script details and then the next thing we know as the creeper and Trisha are face to face and locked in with each other a missile comes in contact or a rocket launcher one of the two comes in contact with both of them they get sent over into a nearby diner that whole thing goes up in flames and it's only safe to presume that that's how that's how that, that's ultimately how trisha ended up dying and that's that's not something that you have to presume that's actually what the script says so trisha ends up dying protecting her son now my thoughts on that is i think that's not necessarily something that would have went well with a lot of viewers but given if just reading it and the way i could have seen this executed on screen i think this would have been like a very uh believable send off for the character they didn't die doing something ridiculous they didn't die doing something idiotic i think this would have been something that would have done the character of trish justice now me personally i would have kept the character alive but i feel like this is just something that feels it feels right just reading that script it feels right like this is something that trish had to do just because she never got over the fact that she she still blames herself from uh 
for letting what happened to Derry happen all those years ago. She, I feel like she still, to this day, feels like it was her fault. And it wasn't her fault, but that's just her. She feels guilty for it for whatever reason. Uh, so this is kind of like her getting to do what she didn't get to do all those years ago and taking Derry's spot. In this case, it's not her brother, though. It's her son, and she ends up dying a hero. Now, if that does not sit well with you, let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think about Trish originally dying in the Cathedral script. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. Also, down in the comment section, I'm going to have a link to the Facebook group, uh, the Facebook group that I have started. I appreciate all of the people that have joined. Keep on sharing this group. We're going to keep this group growing and growing and growing. I'm going to continuously share my videos in that group. Uh, there's a member in that group who was originally supposed to star alongside Gina Phillips in the third film when it was titled Jeepers Creepers Cathedral. Uh, he's answering questions regarding the status of the franchise. He has ties to Victor Salva. He, his name rather is Stacy Langenkamp. Uh, there's an announcement post with him tagged in it. If you would like to get updates on this franchise, you just have to comment down below in that announcement post and he will do his best to answer as soon as he can. Uh, but with that all in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.